We are live. It is Tuesday. It is the rundown. It is April 11th. Um, it is brought to you by Movement Watches, 15% off. Movement Watches and free shipping and free returns and free shipping and free returns. Um, they start just 95 bucks. They're disrupting the watch industry. They look like they should be $500. Nope, 95. And you get 15% off with free shipping and free returns, free shipping and free returns. Um, if you buy this type of watch anywhere else in a store, 400, 500 bucks, 95 bucks, movement watches, mvmtwatches.com slash rundown. Uh, click on the link, click on the URL, and you'll get 15% off. So do that. Uh, all right, let's get into, I guess, you know, today it varies. Today is sort of still a slow day, I would say. Um, the United story is still probably the number one story that people are talking about. The latest updates. The CEO wrote a letter to his company, and he basically said they followed proper protocol, didn't really apologize, came across as a real dick. Um, more shocking than that take is that he thought he could write this letter without it getting leaked is absolutely asinine. And then two... If, if you think that everything was followed, then you don't write the letter at all. No, I guess you could stand up and be like, I don't think we did anything wrong. Well, you either have to like do that, yeah, but to rah, think rah, that rah, that rah, was going to be yeah. quiet is crazy. you got to do a better job of writing it. Side note, yeah, <coughs> well, better job of writing. And then the, the guy who got beat up and dragged off has now become a star in his own right. So he's a, uh, I guess you got to say he's bisexual because he has a family, but he also um, was arrested because he traded drugs for some gay sex. And there's some rumors out there that when he's checking your balls, when he's checking your nuts, he gets a little too into it and basically tries to turn it into a hand job. Um, <laughs> you know, I, who do, I, I, we got a lot to talk about here, but if you're at the doctor's office and your doctor just starts to give you a hand job, can't you just be like, dude, stop? I, I, I think at some point, yeah. You can be, but there, there, there's a moment like are you where under, are you under gas or something. I almost like, trust anything like, a doctor yo, says. Dude, th yeah, stop. there's a moment where you trust a doctor and he's like, "I got to check you," and you're uncomfortable. And then when it lasts like more than a second, I think you have to be like, "This isn't normal." I just always Get say I check dick. myself. Whenever the doctor's like, yeah, do but you what do you do? You know what you're fucking? What do you he mean? Check lumps yourself? and shit. I can't tell what's going on. Yeah, I know, I, but I would rather that than have a guy like. I told you when I went, they stuck their fingers right in my asshole. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. I already told this story. We're talking. It's on subject. I know. Subject. You're telling it again. It's just no. Well, we're talking. I mean, it's kind of on, on subject. Yeah, it's on yeah. point. I wasn't doing that for reaction. I didn't. I was. I didn't hear your guys' initial take because I missed the rundown yesterday. What? What? You guys were 100 percent on the sky side. 100. Okay. Yeah. I'm like 85 percent. I didn't on the sky see. Side. What's the problem? I didn't see the after when he's bleeding and saying, "Just kill me. Just kill me. Kill me. Just kill me. Kill me. Relax. Relax. Kill me. Relax. Relax. Go on. Kill me. Just kill me." That came me. That came me. What the fuck was that? How could you not? I, I, I have no problem with what he did up until when like the cops show up and they're like, "You gotta leave." Like I'm getting up and walking out and not getting tased. Yeah, like, I, I'm just get. I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting up and being like, "Okay, you know what? The police are here. Guess what? Like this really sucks. I'll fight another day." But I'm just gonna get like I'm not gonna get dragged out like that. I, I maybe all over I, the fucking I, I, I maybe wouldn't do that if I respect it. I mean, the main point being, you I think buy, I'd be a stubborn. So that's guy. why I'm 85. You, you on buy the side. ticket; it's your ticket. The airline yeah. just gotta keep increasing the prices. That's until probably they what get you the, should do. I think I would be a stubborn asshole. No, you would not, Kevin. You of all people. No, you wouldn't. You are the you're the king of oh. don't mind my own business. Don't make a scene. I don't. I don't. You yeah, would but, absolutely get up. No, I I yeah, I, I'm would. the king of mind my own business. That's not that's not minding my business. They're coming into my business. No, I'm a a big dick when it comes to like giving up spots at the that's... bar, no, like bodying people for for room. I'm like a big stickler for that. Way, when a cop comes and says something, like I know this sounds crazy, but like, or, but you were know, those actual cops? Gotta... I thought they were the, like united. Oh, like, they look like they had guns. No, I think they were united employed, like the security. If you have for a gun, you're a cop. Mm, I don't know because like gangsters shoot people and shit. Yeah, I mean the. I'm saying like if you have a gun and like the difference between a mall cop and a cop is a gun. If you have if you have a gun on you, I consider you a police. I, I think they were for United. I would like to think I do that. That's why 100. percent But you may you may not like. I mean, we could have gotten dragged out of when we did Goodell. Like the yeah. cops showed up, and it's like. But well, that I think was different. I mean, I you think, guys were somewhere. You were trespassing. Yeah, I think they were United. 
people. So I respect him 100% because it was a, you can't do it if United. We did talk about... Would you sit there bleeding, screaming, just kill me? That's a weird... No, that that's a weird... No, I told you what I'd yell. I'd be like, I'm going to blog this. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, you don't yeah. know how many followers yeah, I have. Yeah, you dropped it. You know who I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Like, pull uh, out your Twitter. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I'm going to make this fucking the scene. Um, we did talk yesterday about boycotting United. I will be the first to admit, I told you I, I booked... My trip to the Kentucky Derby United. and United was the only direct flight. Yeah, fly, fly no, I mean, that's what I said. I'm, I'm boycotting United unless they're the cheapest flight on kayak I, if it's, when I go and if search. If it's remotely similar, yes. No, I'm but cheapest and best option. I assume you heard about how Brett oh, booked Jesus. us to uh, Augusta. Yeah, I still don't think that was Brett's fault. But Whose fault do you think? I think, it's, I think it's you want... You want everyone to read your mind and be like a million places at once. No. Like you want to do the radio show and also get the direct okay. flight. Well, then let me throw this back at you, Dan. On the return trip. He okay, that. see that? I, have, I haven't heard about the return <laughs> trip. On the return trip. But didn't you tra- change your flight? You were no. supposed to come back Sunday, and you came back Saturday. No, 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 no. It wasn't even me. You did the other guys. Oh. Same, basically the same exact price. Got they it. could have gone Augusta direct, which is 85 yeah, that, minutes up and that, down. That's a tough one. That's yeah, a tough there one. There is no explain. explanation. By the way, I'm not going to go back into it. Yes, to, you are. Just to do even it. think that <laughs> it was it over 1% with. my fault. Honestly, no, I, but I do. No, I, I do think it's um, sometimes as a manager, you want you want Brett to like know exactly what like you want to be able to do the radio show, do the rundown, and also take the direct flight. Right, but, but if, if all three of those things don't line up, what is Brett supposed to do? Ask. Okay. I mean, I, That's I assumed like the he simplest. Asked. No. I assumed he asked. You I thought he asked me? Yeah. I didn't even know the direct flight existed. <laughs> I didn't even know it existed. I assumed he asked. Jay Dan, he went on a flight an hour yeah, earlier. Yeah, I thought you wanted to do the radio, so that's why. Well, he, he, he's like, what do you, he's asked, do you want to do radio on Tuesday? I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, so you didn't ask the full question. I had no idea the yeah, direct yeah, flight I got existed. You. I understand yeah. what happened. He just, just say, basically. Did you do, the ra- do you want to do the radio? You thought it, it means was, you're going to miss a direct yeah, flight. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay, yeah. It means you're going to travel full ask. But for 10 hours. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. You're not going to book with him anymore. So I told matter. him. He's done. You did say that a month ago, too. I know, but no, this 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 was something else. Um, book your own travel. I, I yeah, am going to. It's the only way to do he's it. incompetent. Um, this guy, though, by the way, the story we today. We also incompetent. We hired Frank the Tank. Yeah, I saw that. Are but, we going to hire my Bears Rain Man? Uh, oh, my boy, God. God. <laughs> that, so, that was wild. It's, we could say that for the after show. The uh, This guy, though, them releasing like all this stuff, all his like, legal past, as creepy as it is what he's done, it has nothing to do with this fucking situation. Zero. It's bullshit. Zero. Yeah. And by the way, if someone wants to trade you gay sex for drugs, that should be legal. That's a whole different rant I could go down. But if anybody without coercion or force agrees to a trade, that should be legal. That's right. You should be able to trade right. anything you want. But the the giving guys hand jobs while you're you supposed to be do that. that's that's a little you bit. You shouldn't do but that. But that still has nothing to do unless Not a very good United doctor. wasn't like uh, I'm gonna go get this guy because of he's jerked off some yeah, dudes right. yeah. in his, you know, if office. If they did, would you be down with United? I would say that that's a little. It, it is obviously more relevant to the story. Right. Now. If they were like, someone's got to get off this plane, and, and that guy jerks off guy, people unwillingly. Right. I you think can't I'd be down. Somebody off, by the way. On, on I, that's a whole different philosophical discussion. But you can't jerk somebody off unwillingly because your dick won't get hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fact. Um. He's just spending too much time down there. We went a lot of different ways on this. Yeah, that was good. I mean, it was good. It was um, vintage rundown. Sergio's fiance. So she made the headlines because this dude, 86 years old, by the way, the BBC guy, off camera, he's like, she had the shortest shirt on campus. <laughs> Shout out to the Masters for calling their grounds of the campus. From now on, this office will be referred to as the Barstool campus. The program? That's program. Yeah. We're a program, program and this campus. is the campus. Um, People freaked out. BBC, they want him fired. They're saying he's sexist. They're saying this, that, the other thing. Uh, KFC, what do you got on Sergio's? And they're saying it overshadowed His Sergio moment. winning. That, that's what's unbelievable. Like anything in the fucking world. They, were, they, they almost said it for Sergio. They were like, you ruined Sergio's moment. Like anything in the fucking world could ruin Sergio finally winning the Masters. Oh, my hot ass fiance was wearing a short skirt. Eh, she's really not overshadowed. Hot ass that, well, overshadowed. That, she's pretty hot. That was my question. I, am I like not? remembering it as well but like she wasn't stop everything you're doing no, no, hot. But she's Definitely. Hot so she can't she's she a- physically can't overshadow it like there are times yeah. in golf tournaments yes where a woman 
will overshadow everything. She was. Well, Polina can do that. Oh, Polina did that with the, she's, with the upper skirt when yes, she's walking up the steps. Yes, that time. is a moment, right? right. But Everyone this was, was not. That, not I don't even remember her. She no. was an attractive woman. That's yes, yeah. which you'd expect from a fucking professional golfer. Right. I, I'd much prefer she wear the shorts or tight pants, though, than that little tennis skirt thing. Not a fan of that look on chicks at all. It's just, this is what, it's like one of those situations where it's actually a valid argument sometimes, but don't use it this time. What do you, you know what I mean? Like, you could say that a fiance does overshadow and again, if, a guy. If she was dressing, like, really slutty, it, right. was just, it was a right. little short, but it was right. one of those, like, athletic skirts. So it, was it wasn't a, it, like, it, there was no attempt to overshadow him. There was no. It was, it was what uh, they do at the Masters, Dan. What do you, so at the Masters, one of the things I noticed is 30% of the gallery wore golf shoes. Yeah, like yeah. Like the actual spikes. Yeah, the golf art, and they wear the glo- golf hardos. It hardos looked like, like they were ready to just, else, like man. a celeb shot. Yeah, out yeah. Of the blue, like, hey, you, I need you to, like, yeah. check. It was wild. Um, Janet Jackson. So Janet Jackson is getting $500 million in a prenup with some, like, Dubai, Qatar, Prince guy. Uh, is making news. And it was five years. So the prenup was they had to be married for five years. She basically divorced him, like, five years to the second. What do we got on this? Uh, we'll start with you, Dan. I don't understand it. Who makes this deal? Like, why is this Dubai guy? What's the catch here? What does Janet Jackson have on this Dubai guy? Because no guy makes a prenup where he just gives all his money away after five years. I, I have a theory. I, I do also think, though, there is something to prenups have five and ten, like, automatically. But... There's like five and ten years. But I still don't understand the part that he's the rich one and he's got to give her all his money. I have a pretty strong theory that I would say is 99.9% safe. Okay. That. Did you stop kicking me? You're like playing footsie with me. I hate your shoes. I hate your shoes. That was the quickest lash out. <laughs> that was Twitter Davy lash out. I saw that lash out. That was a bad lash. I apologize. That, that was, was a bad. bad I apologize. That was a you were you were rattled. You were rattled. rattled. I apologize. You, you've been lashing you out pretty You don't lash out like often. that unless if you're I, rattled. If I apologize, it doesn't also, count. Also, you proved the guy's point, by the way. I don't think you realized that. When he's I like, you have to pay for your friends. And you're like, and I got paid like, $100,000 to go there. It's like, yeah. It was an ad deal. Yeah, I know, but you literally got paid. It wasn't to hang out with. Yeah, but that, that's an ad deal. I'm going with Barstow, whatever. I but you out. looked like way worse, and you kind of confirmed what you were saying. I looked way worse. I don't. I apologize. <laughs> I said it was short. He <laughs> lashed out so hard on his shoes. They stink. He said he was kicking you. <laughs> they stink. You've been like this the whole time to me. Like, Your shoes stink. Your face also stinks. <laughs> Can we carry on? Yes. Um, I don't think they honor prenups in the Middle East. So oh, this fucking guy, still, that's a great get your point. Foot out. You this, keep doing this it. This guy doesn't give it. You want that's, this, you want that. What, who's go, who is going to enforce fake. that? This is fake. It's not worth the paper that's printed on. Come, yeah. come and get it. She will get murdered right. by whoever murders people. Uh, yeah. Like, I, I, I assumed, I stupidly assumed this was like American. Real yeah, like who the fuck enforces that in You're Qatar? Right. This is, I don't even this know anywhere. If, how would you even, $500 million is like a fake fucking number. It's yeah, that's all, the whole thing, so it, which makes you believe that It's the least enforceable. So now this all makes sense. He basically was like, he probably, you know, she has this Janet Jackson f- fetish yep. his whole life. Yep. He was jerking off to her when he was, when she was like with the fucking Jackson, you know, the, the yep. little runt running around the Jackson 5. She wasn't in it, but, and then she's like, how do I get Janet Jackson to marry me? I I'll offer her $500 million after five years in this fake Dubai court. He, he, she had a kid she, with him too. She though. could have said. Well, yeah, you can't. I mean, she could I feel have like said, you have to kind of that buy kid in. Just gonna kill anyways. Janet Jackson had to oh, buy in. She had to buy into the whole program. Whatever program, <laughs> whatever she said she needed to fuck him. Yeah. Be like, fine. It's genius. Come and get it. That's I live fucking in Qatar. Genius, man. Women don't even count in Qatar. That's genius. So, no brainer. Um, I am surprised you weren't on that. I, yeah, that's why I'm. I'm a little foggy. Um, this video, you're trying to pop. So it's two guys just like standing off. One dude's like, you're trying to pop, man. You're trying to pop. What up? You're trying to pop. And then the other guy just fucking knocks him out. You want to pop? You want to pop? Yo, you want to pop? Yo, you trying to pop. Yes or no? Yo. Oh, chill, chill. I see, I see, I see. You want to pop, nigga? Chill. With, with a rough and rowdy, slow type of haymaker. <laughs> that was so slow. It was slow. The, to say the guy who was talking shit 
made no effort to do dodge that That's punch. That's what I'm saying. It he was, walked he, into it. He, that was one of the slowest punches I've ever seen, and he fucking nailed him right on the jaw. I mean, if you're going to talk shit like that. And you could see both of them were kind of getting ready, and then he just stood there and took it off the face. I think Trent wrote this blog, and he was spot on when he said that the guy who's always talking too much in these videos is the guy who gets knocked out. There's an addition, though. It's the guy who's got the, the tight shirt. He's got the fucking Joey Porter popcorn muscles. Yep. He's got the chain. He's got the nice lines. He's usually the one who gets knocked out. Like, he thought he looked good that day. And then he <laughs> fucking ended up with, like, whatever we call it, a hematoma? What do you call it on your Yeah, face? that's a brain trauma. Yeah, the hema, hema, hemoglobin. Is that hemoglobin? What do you call it? Hemoglobin? What's are you looking at those guys? Yeah, what? hemoglobin. These are, I assume these guys are sitting here to be our stat checkers. What, what is, uh, what is... <laughs> There's no other reason. What is brain hema, trauma? Hemoglobin is definitely a word. No, no, when you get the big fucking welt on your head. Hemoglobin... You have a computer in your lap. Don't look at me. Contusion. contusion. We know These, it's a contusion. Uh, this idiot you over here is just <laughs> sitting there. Get on your computer. You guys search. Search. Face. Hemoglobin. Big what, thing what, on your head. What's brain trauma? <laughs> Concussion. Who no. had it? So, no. Someone had it. Um, yeah, the boxer. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rasan, Amad Rasan. Oh, Rock, yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, close yeah, guy. Yeah, the, the rock the, from Baltimore. Fuck. What was his name? Oh, Rahim. Um, yeah, Ra 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 what is it? Brain diffusion caused by diffusion. What's the name? Brain diffusion. No, but it was brain diffusion face. is the term. Oh. Jesus. The hemoglobin. <laughs> Sticking with punches. <laughs> Wait, can we find? Can someone Google hemoglobin can you so we know what that is? Google can we at least know if hemoglobin's way off? Because we're just saying the word hemoglobin over and over. Red protein responsible for transport. Nailed it. Protein. Nailed it. Yeah. Red hemoglobin. Protein. Nailed it. Sticking with punches. <laughs> Fifty Cent at his concert. <laughs> A chick like grab 50 cents. I don't like these snack guys anymore. <laughs> We're just going. What? What? Gout. Gout? No, it's yeah, not. Gout. <laughs> this guy's name is Dave in the purple. Why would that be gout? I like these snack guys again. <laughs> Who is, who's the guy in the purple? It's Tom. Todd? Tom. Tom, Tom interview with me. You're like three seconds away from getting kicked. Tom, out of here. when like, we go, to, when we went, here's a, a funny disgusting story. Disgusting display. You're just sitting there looking at us. You're not googling <laughs> anything. <laughs> then you come in like half an hour later with gout. This is the classic Get NFL. Tom, when we go to the NF, when we go to the Super Bowl, and PFT and I broke into Radio Row. Tom comes up to me. He's just like, "What's up, big cat?" I was like, "What the fuck are you doing here?" He's like, "I'm credentialed through Fordham." I was like, "What?" <laughs> His he's Google got, on this, just for the record. He's got a whole fucking setup at Radio Row, and we can't get in. Just for the record, his the thing he Googled was Seinfeld gout. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now, I swear. It just says like Seinfeld our, gout. You guys got to sit the same what's seats every day. We are stat checkers. Someone has a big thing on their neck. I thought that's what you were talking about. No, gout, is the, gout is the king's disease. It's when you drink and you're also thinking of goiter. He's like so stupid. This, alarming this is a stupid. classic rundown, though. You're it's gone a million different stupid. ways. <laughs> Um, You're doing okay. He's, <laughs> alarmingly stupid is such a mean it's so thing mean. to say. It's so mean. That is so brutal. That whole exchange was like <laughs> so surreal mean. watching him react. In he could make, like hey, he might behind, be able to get us credentials next year. So ten minutes behind keep him around. the times and like way off. <laughs> alarmingly stupid. Tom, <laughs> alarmingly stupid. Um, Spin zone, Dave knows your name now. Uh, true. <laughs> that is true. He will never forget you. <laughs> 50 Cent. Uh, sticking with punches, actually. So a girl at a concert, like, he, he was reaching out. They grabbed him, he, and the girl pulled 50 Cent. 50 Cent just fucking hammers her right in the boobs. In an, uh, a great twist in which re reinforces or reinstalls my faith in America, they called it all even because he let her come back up and twerk on stage. So it's like... He's a smart businessman. All is forgiven, He did basically. it quick. He knew yeah. right away. He was like, I fucked up. He's like, bring her back over here. Brings her fat ass up there, and all's good. What was that? Hematoma. Yeah. Hematoma. That yeah. was close enough. I should get the, half credit. For the record, the proper term is hematoma. hematoma. What is brain trauma? Hematoma. <laughs> it's when you get hit we in don't the have head. Enough brain brain trauma. Like a time okay. I've asked. <laughs> He's still not on the computer. The alarmingly stupid, stupid guy Tom. has had a chance <laughs> to like Tom. redo redeem the alarmingly himself. Stupid Tom. Maybe maybe just Google like what is brain trauma like brain trauma called? I, may come up. No, that's. That's like a welt. He's talking about the welt on the eye. Yeah. Okay, never mind. The, uh, the, the twerker let, let, was let, pretty let's, good. Let's, yeah. She was pretty good at twerking. Yeah. She had a booty. What? It's a blood supply that goes to the injury causing the bump. Okay. All right. Um, she had a pretty good booty. 
She was twerking it. Yeah, not bad. She's I mean, punch, twerk, all. Uh, yeah. well, imagine her explaining, like, hey, how was the 50 Cent concert? Like, Weird. That was the best concert of her life. The oh, Weird. I got punched in the boobs. Then Five 50 Cent, and then he called me up personally. <laughs> they lifted me on stage, and I got to dance. Weirdest thing, though, was her dress. She was, like, dressed for, like, Easter, Easter yeah. Sunday. And she's, like, in a floral dress at a 50 Cent concert I, getting I, punched in the I'm tent. I'm going to say, no, I'm not going to say it. Uh, no, no, you got to yeah, say, no, say it. No, no, I'm you not going to say it. That is say internet rules. about Brett? It, I, I, it may be, like, and I'm not sure it's true. So I, I'm Here taking it back. It's borderline racist, too. Okay, so I don't maybe say don't it. say it. Yeah, I'll let it permeate my okay. brain. I want to say it now. <laughs> you have to say it. You have to say it. You say, just say it as a say question. Whisper it to me, and then I'll twin. say it because then nobody no, will say it. I feel like I'm question. having a Bill Parcells, like, no offense to the Jeff. Yeah, 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 yeah no, say it as a question. Okay. Do black people love dressing up in super Eastery colors around Easter? Oh. Good question. I don't think that's racist. That no, that's a I don't. Question. I think it's a good question. I think, I think they probably a, go all out for Easter. That's your intellectual curiosity at work. You're right. So it's like that's close to it. Easter's around like right. pastels, and yeah. I feel like they get fired up. Yeah, get I, into it. It's like an and one concept. I don't think that's a thing, but I don't think it's racist to ask oh, okay. a question either. I think all right. that was just good. a fair question. Do you think good. it's a thing, Coley? That like they're like, uh, oh, Coley's. it's near, it's near Easter, and I'm well, going to concert. Well, they're loading up. Somewhere. They have like they probably like maybe an outfit. Yeah, you can't try it. I'm not wearing this one Sunday. I'll wear it the Sunday before. I'll wear it to the 50 Cent concert. Right. Right. Um, <laughs> maybe. Uh, what a shit show. <laughs> that was show. a great rundown. It was a great so rundown. So, Dan, you were at Cubs raising the flag. What, yep. yeah, you met the guy who knew every Bears score was, for like the last 100 years. It was, it was. How did he preface that? Was he just like. So, he didn't even want to do it. He was a Chicago police officer. His buddy was a stoolie. <laughs> and he came up. We were, we were literally just getting dumped on for like two hours. That's what made it so good, by the way. The it was like water dripping yeah, yeah, yeah. off that guy's face it was like the whole time. And it, and it was one of those rains that it like started, it was 70 degrees, and by the end it was like 40. Oh, that's totally So it just yeah. gets so cold. And the guy came up to me, he's like, hey, what's up, big cat, like big fan. Um, and we're just like, okay, cool. He's like, my buddy here, like he can name every single Bears game <laughs> from 1999 to 2016. We must have sat there for an hour just doing like every game. It's been raining for the last two hours, and this guy, is standing here telling us that he can tell us any Bears game in the last 16 years. He knows the result. So we're going to give him two random ones. Week 14, 2001. Week 14, 2001. Uh, they, they beat the Bucks 27-3. Week 4, 2008. Week 4, 2008. They beat the Eagles. 2420. And were you like checking them all? He only, yeah, checking yeah, so them all. He, he only got one, he got one wrong of maybe like the 70 I asked him, but he said, as he said, he's like, this is the score, but it might have been the bye week, so it would be the score next week. And I looked it up and it was actually the bye week and the score so was the it does, is this just like a It's just a sad like I don't know trick he did or no, like I, he has a like a uh, autistic brain. I don't know. Could, I, could he do it with another team or he just probably memorized it? No, these yeah, scores. he's got he said he got a he has a photogenic mem memory. Oh. I don't know why you'd use it on that. That's a it's like that's very a, sad, like very sad. There's a lot of sad bears years there. A lot very of sad, sad games. I thought you were going to say it was a sad well, trick. I think it's a great trick. No, it's a good. I'm sure it's gotten him beers and every like you know you. You can win every bet in the yeah, world. Yeah, you can show up score, right. Blah, blah. Exactly. I mean, the, like the fact that I at one point I think I had this one on video when I was like week four, two thousand two, and he was like the Bears uh, lost to the Bucks six to three. Week seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. They they lost at Tampa six three. Like, Those are games that, like me and you, said. when we wa yeah. we finish watching, we're like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna black that. Yeah, out. I never, I never want to remember, remember that again. Right. That guy burns it into his right. brain. It, that was that old. Uh Old Bucks uniforms too. Like yeah, those I, they got to go back to those. No, not they, they switched those in the '90s. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. The creamsicles. Yeah, those, those are old. Old. Those, yeah, those were old, old. great. So good. Great. Those so were not good. in like 2002. Though. No, no, because 2002 is when they won the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh cool. yeah, no, those were the 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 old like what? Yeah, cream, those. Those are some of the best uniforms like I, ever. I also so everyone. The, probably the most random moment. Everyone like basically left because the game. Well, I think the fourth inning was being played at like 11 p.m. Yeah, that's, there was that's a moment where that. I was sitting in. Um, I moved my season tickets from the bleachers to seats because, long story, the buddy I own them with has bad knees. He can't sit in the bleachers anymore. Sounds so like a. He's convenient. got gout. He actually has gout. <laughs> he's got gout, and he's, so yeah, he's he's a no mess. No fucking way. No, he does. He get. 
he has gout and he also has knee problems. He played That's football. Barstool and Notre Dame. He, right he has bad knees. So we moved in. There was a moment we were in the section. There was like basically no one in the section. It was me, my buddy, Scott Darling, and Ravel. Ravel came to say <laughs> hello. And it was like the most random, like just sitting there being like, okay, we're doing this. Weird and crook. Ravel's just a weird, like, Any progress on dude. BMT with him? He's still very worried about PFD. Yeah. He's well, very scared I mean, about it. Listen. It's I, like unbelievable how I, scared he is. But in hindsight. What, what's he afraid of? He's, well, he did this to him. He did that. Right, he brought right, it up right, again. Right, he's but, like, I, we, it was all fun and games till PFD yeah, did but, that. I was like, dude, are you? To Ravel's, it's, it's, it's nerd flashbacks. To, to Ravel's defense at the Masters, me and Frankie were in there, and they take all your phone. You, you can't have any communication in the Masters. And a uh, stoolie came up. He's like, uh, Goodell's right behind you in the green jacket. So I couldn't find him. But me and Frank were like, what are we going to do? We have nothing. And I was going to do that, which is, in my mind, like the yeah. meanest thing yeah, I could no, do to it's, him. Yeah. So it's a mean fucking thing. That was like Ravel's favorite day of the year, though, because the Cubs, you know, like they open a new plaza and they have like all these oh, like, commemorative yeah, yeah. things on sale. And yeah, 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 he was just much. jizzing nerd all day. <laughs> He's like, I, 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 like, Scott was like, hey, you want something to eat? And Darren's like, I tried the whole menu at 3.30. <laughs> it's like, come uh, on, Ravel. Yeah, <laughs> it's classic. All right. Uh, that's the render.